So hot take, coffee dates, ice cream dates, drink dates, etc., are low effort, okay? I had this man ask me on a date tonight and he said, oh, let's go for drinks. I would love to take you out. And I told him respectfully, no, I only do dinner dates. He was like, oh, I don't do dinner dates on the first date, blocked. I'm not about to play with y'all, okay? These men, we need to, as women, we need to stop letting these men get away with low effort dates and literally doing the bare minimum, okay? Because first of all, why are you trying to get me impaired on the first date? Or why are you trying to get impaired around me on the first date? I'm uncomfortable, absolutely not. Dinner is great, you can have drinks at dinner. I don't, you know? That's 100% a non-negotiable for me. As soon as you're saying that you're not taking me to dinner, I'm not gonna argue with you, I'm not trying to convince you, is dead you're blocked goodbye the only time i would slightly understand drinks you know like a coffee date salad date ice cream date etc is if he's like a millionaire billionaire okay trillionaire like unless you're up there but the men that are doing this are regular men anyways you get what i'm saying it's regular men who don't want to spend the money on you right they want to feel like you have to convince them on that first date why they should take you out to a dinner, spend $200. Maybe if I take myself out to $200 dates by myself and I treat myself all the time, why would you think you're going to come in and take me to no ranganaki ass, like cheap ass type of drink date? No. And I get it. I feel like as women, a lot of us think of short commitment dates such as drinks, um, coffee, etc., as you know, a way for you to leave if things are uncomfortable or you know, like a quick exit, right? However, that's not how men view things. They're not coming from a safety standpoint. They're trying to get turned, trying to get you turned, and also looking at it financially. Like I'm not going to spend all that money on this girl. Thinking that dinner is that much of an investment is problematic and toxic. I don't deal with it, and I'm not going to argue about it. Blocked. These men are so complacent doing the bare minimum. And if you allow them, if you allow a man to do the bare minimum once, baby, he gonna keep doing it. That's what I've learned. That little effort shit is not flying with me at all. But I wanna know what y'all think. That shit is crazy. Fellas, understand something, bro. You will be a fool, a sucker, a stan, a simp. If you taking a woman on a dinner date on the first date, bro. If you want to sit across from a woman that you don't know on the first date when she could be a whole bird, you got to be a fool. On the first date, if you're going to take a woman on a date, bro, you got to keep it frugal and you got to keep it cost effective. Like I tell you guys all the time, this is the summertime, take her to the park or something. But regardless of what you do, do not invest a lot into a woman on the first date you don't know who she is for all you know she could be a sex worker but here's the thing and this is why i keep telling y'all man y'all gotta know how to spot a bird women like her are just looking for a free meal they are usually broke fake now if you take a good look at this chick fam her hair is fake and she got a face filled with makeup and she got on some eyelashes the thing about that is this, you don't even know how she really looks in real life. She is pretending to be somebody right now. She is pretending to look like a baddie. But if you see this chick when she wakes up in the morning, it might scare you. I'm just keeping it real. Think about making reservations for a chick like her and sitting across a chick who you're staring at and everything about her is fake. Guess what? Her energy is going to be fake as well. She's going to be acting fake bougie. And whole time, she's not even used to fancy things. The bottom line is this, fellas. A bunch of women out here, and it's usually women who look like her, have this fake persona. They are what you call wannabe baddies. They are fake baddies. They are not real. And I'll urge you dudes to keep away from from women like that because you know they never had nothing that's why they be so eager to go on a dinner date think about it bro if you meet a real quality baddie and she's really digging you she's digging your energy she don't care 
when you take her, she just want to be around you. She just want to vibe with you. But when a chick is broke and she have a very broke motive, she's going to be on the same type of time this chick is on. Fellas, keep away from low-hanging fruits like this, man. For real. Favorite love song? Okay. Um, fuck wow. love. Okay, I'm single, guys. Oh, oh I'm in love for that. <laughs> She belongs to the streets. Yo, I keep telling y'all, man. One thing about a bird, she eventually gonna make her way back to the streets. The bottom line is this, man. When a woman is for the streets, if a man have any type of sense, if he's thinking rationally, if he's thinking logically, he will not wife up a bird. But if a man is in his lower self, and he's not thinking straight. He might deal with a bird. <laughs> but once he got his mind right and he wake up like, oh shit. What the fuck am I thinking? Wife and her. He's going to leave that bird alone. And I think that was the case with Drewski. Is like he woke up and he came back to his senses. Like, what the fuck am I doing? This is, this is Ruby Rose. She ran through. Now let's keep it real. When you slide up in these type of chicks joint, that box be loose as a goose, fam. She might look pretty, but that box probably trash. And fellas, take heed, bro. When you see a woman can't keep a man, or like when you see a man like get the box, but he ain't trying to stick around too long, the box is usually trash. It's ran through. You could swim in that joint. You could do all type of backstrokes, all type of different moves in that joint, okay? You don't want to cuff that. And that's all it is with her, man. And it's sad because Shorty going to forever be in the streets, man. Sad situation, though. I could sleep with other men just because logistically for my schedule, it would be easier because Adam is a very busy person. And so sometimes it's hard to call upon him to work with him, especially when I want to have like a for my hands and I have to coordinate with one other person's schedule. So there's that component. And yeah, obviously I think it'd be fun and hot if we did stuff with other guys, but like, I just don't care enough to like have it affect my relationship with you. How? How you, I'm saying, how, like, talk to me, bro. And I'm okay with that, but I feel like a lot of my, uh, very feminist audience wants me to care about that a little bit more and like fight for it. Right. What do you think? I mean, I'm, I'm fighting for my side. <laughs> What's your side? That I like having you as my As only yours? As only mine, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wifing up a sex worker is crazy, bro. Oh, my bad, a porn star. Because here's the thing, she got this man thinking that he's really a porn star, but he don't even know, like, that's the play. Women have the ability to stroke a man's ego to make him believe whatever, but the whole time, that's just the play. Now she's at the point where it's like, yo, can I, like, can I smash other dudes? I mean, we did the whole play thing already, and... My porn career is not really going much far with just doing you. And you know, even before you met me, I done had threesomes. I done had trains running me. So you know the type of girl that I am. But this man is steady trying to hold back this woman from being who she is. Fellas, you can't save a bird. She's who she is and there's nothing you could do about it besides... At this point, what he's doing is cock blocking, bro. He's stopping a bird from flying high. She want to fly high. But in all reality, you got to understand who this man really is. Because I keep telling you all dudes, your money is not going to save you, fam. Take a look at this man. This is who he really is. Don't let the money fool y'all. Now, I keep telling you all, fam. Your money is not going to make a woman love you or want you more. If a woman is who she is, she's eventually going to make her way back to the streets. Fellas, the bottom line is this, bro. You can't save a bird.
you could try to disguise it and act like, oh, we just porno stars and all that. No, she's a porno star. You're not. Stop letting her run game on you to have you thinking that you're a porno star because if you move her out the picture, you wouldn't have a career doing porn, buddy. Stop it. Fellas, be wise out here for real. Before you guys leave, let me just say thanks to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the SDC fam. And if you guys appreciated the content, go ahead and show some love right now and like and subscribe. Do so for your boy right now. Go ahead. Keep putting in that work. Keep putting in that work. You know why? You were almost there. You were almost there. If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. You all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch.